welcome to this week's edition of Wrestling Rumors We Hope Are True and Those We Hope Aren't. We're now past Money in the Bank 2020, the first major PPV after WrestleMania 36. With Backlash Insight for WWE and Double or Nothing ahead for AEW, the next month of wrestling is going to be an exciting one. Unfortunately, it looks like the empty arena shows will be the way to go for the foreseeable future, but these rumors focus on a lot of things to look forward to, starting right now, 5. Hope is true, WWE planning a big rematch for The Undertaker's return? The Undertaker has had a career resurgence in 2020 after he finally said goodbye to the dead man character after 16 years and reinvented himself for WrestleMania 36. Due to the empty arena setting for the show of shows, WWE decided to get creative and filmed a mini-movie that was the Boneyard Match. It was considered an instant classic, with many dubbing it as the most unique WrestleMania main event. AJ Styles normally gets the best out of his opponents, which is why it shouldn't come as a surprise that he gave The Undertaker his best match in seven years. It seems as though the two are set to work together again, as Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez on the Wrestling Observer Radio spoke about WWE possibly working towards a more traditional match between The Undertaker and AJ Styles. We hope this is true because it would be interesting to see how the two would do in the ring and a traditional setting. Given that their first match was such a big success, there will undoubtedly be a lot of hype for a rematch. We wouldn't blame WWE for wanting to capitalize on a big money matchup. 4. Hope isn't true, a surprising new direction for Seth Rollins Seth Rollins has had quite a few characters change over the years. He became the main event superstar as a heel, but he spent over three years as a babyface between 2016 to 2019. He turned heel at the end of the decade. He's had a life-changing few weeks, as he learned that his fiancée Becky Lynch was pregnant. She made the big reveal one night after Money in the Bank, vacating the Raw Women's Championship that she held for a full year. When Rey Mysterio congratulated Seth Rollins on Raw, he was met with silence. After their tag team match ended, also involving Aleister Black and Murphy, Rollins viciously attacked Mysterio. He surprisingly apologized to Aleister Black afterwards, a rare action for a top heel. Tom Kolohue discussed this segment with Corey Guns on Dropkick Discussions and said that Rollins could be on course for a possible face turn. 3. Hope is true, Roman Reigns in no rush to return Roman Reigns Roman Reigns has been absent from WWE television since pulling out from WrestleMania 36 late March. No mention has been made of him on TV since and he was even removed from a WrestleMania video package played on Raw highlighting Seth Rollins' WWE triumphant night in 2015. As for when he plans to return, the report stated that there's no timeline, as WWE themselves haven't chalked out anything for his return. The Fightful Select report went on to state that there is still no definite timeline with regards to Reigns' comeback, as it could take two days, two weeks, two months or even longer. At this point, WWE has no idea when Reigns will be back and as a result of it, the company has not chalked out any creative plans for him. We hope this is true since Reigns deserves to spend time with his family. His wife is pregnant with twins and it's far more important than an in-ring return. 4. Hope isn't true, Drew Gulick parts ways with WWE Drew Gulick has been in the best spot of his WWE career so far these last two months, as his alliance with Daniel Bryan has gotten him consistent TV time. He's been an integral part of Daniel Bryan's storyline progression, but all that has come to a screeching halt. Pro Wrestling Sheet reported that Drew Gulick has parted ways with WWE. Just to be clear, this isn't like the other WWE releases. The term, release, doesn't fit here, since Gulick's contract reportedly expired without him re-signing a new deal. Gulick was reportedly in negotiations with WWE but the two parties haven't come to terms yet, which means that Gulick's WWE run has come to an end. We hope this isn't true, but the fact that he's been moved to the alumni section on WWE's website seems to confirm it.
Hopefully, Gullick manages to agree to a new deal with WWE and appear on television again. It could be a while, but we can't imagine Gullick ending his WWE run this quickly, especially since he was in a prime spot from February until the end of his deal. 2. Hope is true, a face turn for the Kabuki Warriors Asuka is now a Grand Slam Women's Champion Asuka won the Money in the Bank briefcase last Sunday in the corporate Money in the Bank ladder match. What we didn't know at the time was that the match was actually to determine the next Raw Women's Champion, as Becky Lynch vacated the title and will be going on maternity leave for the next year at the very least. WrestlingNews.co's Paul Davis reported that Asuka and Kairi Sane have both turned face in an unplanned move. While Nia Jax was supposed to be Becky Lynch's Money in the Bank opponent, with Shayna Baszler reportedly planned to be the original MITB winner, the decision was made to go with Asuka as the next Raw Women's Champion. I asked about the turn and I was told that the Asuka and Sane turn was not something in the plans but it was necessary because they want a babyface champion right now with names like Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax in line for title matches in the coming months. We hope this is true because Asuka proved to be a great babyface champion in NXT, while Kairi Sane is a natural babyface as well. We expect them to have singles run, but we only hope that the Kabuki Warriors aren't done as a team. 1. Hope isn't true, WWE doesn't feel Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura have enough charisma to be single stars Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro were aligned with Sami Zayn, the man who was their storyline leader. Even when Nakamura was the Intercontinental Champion, it was Zayn who was the voice of the group. With Sami Zayn opting not to work the post-WrestleMania 36 tapings, the question was brought up as to whether Cesaro and Nakamura will part ways. According to Tom Kolohue on Dropkick Discussions, the decision to pair them with Corbin was because WWE doesn't believe that either Cesaro or Nakamura have enough charisma to be solo stars. Well at the moment they have been immediately paired up with Baron Corbin, which will at least give them someone new to lead them. WWE, unfortunately, have the general belief that neither of them nor Cesaro or Nakamura have the right amount of charisma to be in a solo position or have a leadership role. With everything they are rewriting around Sami Zayn they need someone else to talk for them, so, for now, they have paired them up with Corbin, after that, it's really hard to see. We hope this isn't true because Cesaro and Nakamura's best work has come as solo stars. We understand that Nakamura seems to be writing out his contract until retirement, but he deserves a lot more for the kind of superstar he is. Let us know about your views.